Assalamualaikum. In this lecture, we are going to study the nominal T method for the modeling of medium transmission line. In this method, we divide the impedance of the transmission line into two parts, Z by 2 and Z by 2. And uh, the capacitance of the line is indicated by one capacitor at the center of the transmission line. So therefore, the capacitive current is only passing through the half of the transmission line, only through this portion of the transmission line. And therefore, the losses are reduced. In the end condenser method, the losses with the increasing length of transmission line was going above 10% because the whole current is passing through the resistance and reactance of the line or the impedance of the line and as the capacitor was placed at the end of the transmission line in parallel with the load but in this case in T method we have capacitor in the center of the line so only the half of the line is having the capacitive current passing through it so we have Z by 2 before the capacitor and Z by 2 after the capacitance and uh, the sending and voltage is Vs, the current Is is passing through the first half of the impedance and the current through the capacitor is Ic and the current through the second part of the impedance that is Z by 2 is Ir which is the same current that is flowing through the load. Now if we have to represent this circuit in the phasor form, first we have to define the reference voltage, this is your Vr and then we have to draw the voltages across the resistance and reactance and before drawing these phases we have to decide that what will be the value of Is from the circuit we know that Is is equal to Ic plus Ir so this is your receiving end current or the load current plus Ic this will give you Is and this phi S is actually the angle between the sending end voltage and the sending end current. So this will give you the sending end power factor if you will take the cosine of this phi s angle. So once you have the reference voltage Vr then you can draw the voltage across the resistance or the second part of the resistance that is in the impedance value Z by 2 at this point this is the voltage across resistance R by 2. Then there is uh, some voltage across the reactance as well that is represented by I R X L by 2 and the summation of uh, these two voltages will give you the voltage across the impedance Z by 2. And the summation of V R and the voltage drop across the impedance Z by 2 will give you the voltage V1 which is actually the voltage across the capacitance that is placed at the center of the transmission line. Similarly, you can calculate Vs as well, which is actually the summation of V1, the voltage across the capacitance and the voltage across the second portion of the impedance Z by 2. So this is Is R by 2, Is XL by 2, voltage across the inductive reactance, voltage across the resistance. And the summation of these two voltages will give you the voltage across this part of the impedance Z by 2. So the Vs will be the summation of this V1 and the voltage across this Z by 2. So this is the phasor representation of T method. Now in this example we are going to solve a three phase line having frequency 50 Hz overhead transmission line length 100 km resistance per kilometer per phase is 0.1 ohm so this is per kilometer so we have to multiply it with 100 similarly for the inductive reactance we again have to multiply it with 100 this is your capacitive susceptance so this is your SC so in order to calculate Y you have to write it like that and this is per in per kilometer value so you will multiply it with 100 so this is the admittance of the whole line. Now to calculate the ascending end current first we will draw the circuit this is Z by 2 this is your capacitance and this is your Z by 2 
this is your load this is your y sending and voltage voltage v1 voltage vr current ir ic and i s so in the first part of the question we have to calculate the sending and current and from the circuit we know that i s is equal to i c plus i r so starting from i r value for calculation of i r we should know the load of the transmission line that is 10 thousand kilovolt so i r is equal to p delivered over under root 3 v into cos phi r so the power delivered value is 10,000 kilowatt the voltage value is 66 kilovolt and the power factor value is 0.8 so this is your power factor which is equal to 0.8 now you have to keep that in mind that this voltage is line to line voltage because we are using under root 3 here and uh, the line is 3 phase as well. So if you have to use line to neutral voltage here then you will use 3 in multiplication with the voltage value. <coughs> so this will give you the value of receiving and current that is equal to 109 ampere. So this is the magnitude and if you have to write it in uh, polar form or as a complex number that will be 87.2 minus 64 5.4 J so this is the receiving end current this was the value that we have calculated and now to calculate IC that is the current that is passing through this capacitor and we have a voltage V1 across this capacitor so to calculate the value of IC that is passing through the capacitor the form formula will be Y V 1 and this Y will be equal to J B but we do not know the value of this voltage V 1 so to calculate the value of voltage V 1 we have to first calculate the value of V R plus I R Z by 2 this whole part has to be calculated before we can calculate the value of uh, capacitive current we know the value of VR that is 38105 volts and this is a line to neutral voltage because this is a single line representation of the transmission line so all these voltages VS V1 and VR they are line to neutral voltage but when you are using the, the delivered power formula and you have to calculate the receiving and current you have to use line to line voltage or 3 into line to neutral voltage in the formula so now this VR is actually 66 K divided by under root 3 we have already calculated the IR value which is this one and the impedance value is this one so the numerical values will be 38105 plus 87.2 minus 65.4 J into 5 plus 10 J so this is your impedance Z by 2 this is your current receiving end current and this is your receiving end voltage that is line to neutral so after solving this equation you will get the value of V1 equal to this value now you have calculated the V1 value you can use this in this equation which we can call as equation A and after putting the value IC will become J4 into 10 raised to minus 4 into this value and IC will be equal to minus 0.218 plus 15.6 J so now we have calculated IR as well as IC so the main goal was to calculate the sending and current so IS is equal to IC plus IR and the value of IS will be equal to 100 angle minus 
ampere so this was the first portion of the question now in the second portion we have to calculate the sending and voltage and from the circuit we know that vs is equal to v1 plus is into z by 2 v1 is this value so we know this value of voltage and is value is this and z a z by 2 is equal to 5 plus 10 j that we have calculated here so the vs value will be equal to 40145 angle 1.67 volt so this is your sending and voltage now to calculate the sending and power factor we know that this is your VR this is your IS this is your VS so we have to calculate this phi and we have already calculated Vs as well as Is and the angle of Vs is suppose it is theta 1 which is this angle theta 1 and the angle of Is is theta 2 which is this angle theta 2 so this angle is equal to 1.67 volt here and for Is it is 29.78 this negative sign only represent that the angle is measured in the clockwise direction so now in order to calculate this phi you have to add theta 1 and theta 2 and it will give you the value 31.45 and the cosine of phi will be equal to 0.85 lagging as this is is lagging both the voltages VR and VS so this is 0.85 lagging and in the last part of the question we have to calculate the transmission efficiency so to calculate the transmission transmission efficiency we know that the formula is P delivered over P delivered plus losses or you can use in denominator the sending and power as we already know the sending and voltage is and cos phi s which is the sending and power factor so we can easily calculate the sending and power which will be equal to 3 vs is cos phi s and it will be equal to 10273.105 kilowatt we already know the delivered power that is 10,000 kilowatt so using these numerical values in the equation we will get the transmission efficiency equal to 97.34 percent so this was the numerical related to the t model of medium transmission line thank you